Hello everyone and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Wednesday and you may notice that I am quite dolled up for a Wednesday. That's because me and Ryan are going out on a date night. It's my birthday tomorrow um, so we're going out tonight. Ryan's at work at the weekend um, so we're doing it on a Wednesday. It'll be fun going out for something to eat and a few drinks and we might even catch a late cinema show. We'll see what's on. everybody happy friday so today is the day after my 34th birthday um, me and ryan had a really nice night out on wednesday we went to turtle bay which is a caribbean restaurant and it was really yummy and i royally fell off the weight watchers wagon and i probably will continue to do so um, because i've got a massive chocolate cake in the fridge which needs to be got through um so oh well we'll get back on it once all that's gone um Gotta be honest, feeling a bit of a funk actually about my birthday. Not the fact that I'm older, getting older doesn't really bother me too much, but apart from the fact we went out on Wednesday, which was really nice, didn't actually do anything on my birthday. Um, it was business as usual. Um, I look after my nephew on a Thursday, and I did again um, this week. So, went swimming with April in the morning, which actually was really, really great. Um, she had a really good lesson, um, so hopefully things are on the up with that because any of my regular followers will know that she bloody hates swimming. <laughs> um, but she had a really, really good lesson and she seemed to really enjoy it. So fingers crossed, things are getting better. Um, but then it was rushing home to look after Oscar, so we did absolutely nothing. And I remember that I really hate it when I don't do anything on my birthday. I'm not talking about anything like majorly special, just it's nice to go out for the day um, as a family. And we didn't do that yesterday and now Ryan's back at work so feeling a bit of a funk. Also it's my time of the month so I'm unreasonably moody. Um, so yeah, I've got nothing to complain about really. I was spoilt rotten by Ryan and the kids. Had some nice gifts. Um, I had a voucher for a facial so I'll go and do that sometime. And some shopping vouchers um, so I can go and spend some money on myself for once. Um, and Libby picked out a really nice Pandora charm for me. I don't know if you can see it on here. Um, where is it? I don't know how well you can see it. It's not the easiest angle, but it's a Mrs. Potts charm. Um, so she went and chose that all on her own. So that's really nice. And my sister got me a really nice dress, which I'm not wearing, um, but I will show you when I do. Um, and also Ryan has ordered me a camera, which is super exciting because when that arrives, I don't have to film on my phone anymore. Hurrah, I'll have an actual camera. Um, we couldn't really afford a brand new one so we've gone for a refurbished one. Um, I would have liked the Canon G7X which everybody has um, but it's so so expensive so we've gone for a Sony one, it's a refurbished one um, but it comes with a year's guarantee so hopefully it'll be alright but I can't wait for it to arrive and I can stop filming on my phone finally. It's going to be like a revelation. Anyway we've got a job, job list today, quite a long job list. We've done the school run and we went straight to Tesco's because stupid me have been thinking so much about Father's Day stuff for Ryan that I forgot about my own dad. <laughs> so we had a quick run to Tesco's this morning um, to get a card and get that in the post. So hopefully it will arrive on Sunday. And I've got a few other jobs to do. I'm just about to have some breakfast. We didn't have any earlier. 
and also one of our favourite bands is coming to Bristol, we found out in October, so tickets go on sale at 10 o'clock today, so I want to try and get some tickets for that. They don't come to the UK very often, they're Daughtry, I don't know if anybody knows who Daughtry are, um, but they're brilliant and our first song, Our Wedding, was Daughtry, so hopefully I can get some tickets for that. I'll be super excited. We will sort out childcare. Come what may. Anyway, I've been ranting at this camera for nearly four minutes now. Um, so I best get on with the day. Saturday, Friday, as I said, was spent doing lots of jobs and I stormed through my jobs list. I felt like it was a really productive day. This morning we have been to my nephew's second birthday party at a soft play centre. The kids are thoroughly, thoroughly worn out. April has just gone down for a nap quite easily, actually. Um, and Libby is watching the football with Ryan, who has not long got home from work. So yeah, it's been quite a nice morning, actually. The kids, I can't believe it. I woke up like on my own this morning. I don't mean like alone, obviously I was alone, but I woke up on my own terms this morning. I thought, wow, it must be so early, the house was quiet. Looked at my clock and it was quarter to eight and both kids were still asleep, I couldn't believe it. Um, so they didn't wake up until about 10 past eight, so it was amazing. Yeah, so we went to the party. I am now about to try and prep some tea for tonight. Um, I've still got a lot of chocolate cake in the fridge left over from my birthday so I'm gonna have a slice of that definitely um, and then I'm gonna try and get out for a run later because you may or may not know that I have started a running course um, if you've seen any of my Slim Down Sundays videos then you'll know that I've started that and I've got to do my second homework run my first one this week went quite well um, so I've got to do another one today um, and I'm feeling even though I had a really good sleep I'm feeling really tired yesterday afternoon I was feeling really really rough um, so maybe I am coming down with something, but I am going to get out and do the run and I expect I will feel a million times better once I've done that. This has turned into a pretty lazy Saturday afternoon, actually. April had a really good sleep. Libby has been watching a bit of TV. I think she's pretty tired from the party, actually. And Ryan has been watching the World Cup, the football. And I just had a cheeky little 20-minute nap on his shoulder, which was very nice. But I need to get up because I've got to get my homework run done. So, in the workout gear, and I'm going to go now. Um, and then swap tea when I get back. Wish me luck.
Good morning. It is Father's Day, but where's Daddy? At work. He's at work, um, but he will be home later this afternoon. Um, so it's just us this morning. So we are going to go out. Libby has been learning all about Isambard Kingdom Brunel this week in school. Um, so I thought, as he built lots of things in Bristol, like Temple Meads train station, the floating harbour the SS Great Britain, I thought we would go and see one of those creations that he built. Um, so we're going to go and take a walk across the Clifton Suspension Bridge. What are you doing, April, down there? What are you doing? Want to get up? There we go. So yeah, we're going to go and walk across the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Libby has been really enjoying taking photos recently with her tablet, so we're going to take that. We've also got an old camera that we shall try her out with. Um, so yeah, you're going to take some photos from the suspension bridge, aren't you? And you can go and oh. see in real life one of the things that you were learning about at school. Yeah? Should we go do it? Yeah. Yes. What do you think of the suspension bridge? Good. Good? Yeah. What? Oh, any other thoughts? Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it high? Yeah, high. Pretty high. To add it pretty long. It's pretty long. What could you see when we were walking across it? Uh, lots of cars and lots of people. Lots of people in the portway below? Yeah. And the river? Yeah, and mm. lots of cars. Cars, yeah. And I saw people walking across the central bridge, and lots of cars running across the central bridge. Yeah. So Brunel designed that very, very, very long time ago. Yeah, and he died when they did the part with the top on. Yeah, he died before they finished it. Yeah. Um, so it got finished after he died. So there you go. You can go back to school tomorrow and say, Miss Chandler, you know what we learned Hello. about? It's all right. We went across it. I saw the suspension bridge with my very own eyes. You've taken some nice photos, haven't you? Yeah. Maybe I should move my camera into school. Maybe. We'll find out. 